Hi, I'm Benny Covington. I am a Senior Organizational Development and Learning Specialist for Janus Capital. Uh, building your brand, what is that about? Why is it even important? That's a very good question. And I guess the reason why branding is important is because how will the people who are looking for you find you? That's really what branding is about. It's about the belief that, hey, you know what? I know that I have value and there are other people out here looking for me. How will they find you when everyone else is talking? That's really the key to, to, to branding. So think about what it is that you do. Think about what it is that you'd like to do. And then I want you to think about your client or who, or your, who you want to hire you or, or who you want to know you, who you think is out there looking for you. And start asking yourself the questions backwards. What, what would they need to see in order to believe I was that person? Did I need to dress a certain way? Does the employer I'm looking for, do they need to see that I understand the business? These are the things that, so you have to work your way inside out. It's one of the things that, that I did, um, becoming someone who's in leadership development. To be honest with you, when I first started, I really didn't know what people wanted. <laughs> and consequently, what people did was they didn't recognize me when they were looking for someone who could help their leadership abilities develop over time. And so I began working myself backwards. I started thinking, well, if I'm a leader, what do I need? I probably need someone that looks confident, right? Because I'm pretty accomplished myself. So I'm going to need someone that feels pretty confident that they can help me out. I'm also going to need someone that understands where leadership is going. And that's one of the reasons why I got a master's degree in industrial organizational psychology. Uh, so that it looked, I looked credible. So people looking for me, looking for my credentials could find me. And then I began doing a lot of public speaking. Now, public speaking allowed people who were looking for someone who knew something about leadership development to find me. Uh, honestly, branding isn't that difficult. You have some skills, you have things you want to do, and you want the people who are looking for you to be able to find you in a crowded room. That is what branding is. So I guess the big question you're asking is, I've got the interview, what next? That's a very good question. The truth is, is that Think about what that person that's going to be hiring you is probably looking for. Think about it. They're investing a lot of money. Business people are very busy. So they're taking 30 minutes to an hour to talk to you. Why? Why do they want to talk to you? Well, they probably want to find out if you know anything about what they do. So I would say part of your branding would be learn a little bit about what the organization does. If you have an idea of what the role, find out what the role does. Try to think of examples of things that you've done in the past that correlate to what that is that people are looking for. The other thing is they can't always tell from your resume what you can offer. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of great things, a lot of accomplishments, but does your resume often answer, this is what I can do for you today if you hired me? Probably not, it would be very long. So when you come into this interview, one way to brand yourself is to say, this is how I think I can help you. And then you want to follow that up with how you've done that same very thing with someone else, be it at a, in a school project, be it in a former employer. Help them see the picture. Again, they're looking for you. And so the idea of branding is to get people who are looking for you to be able to see you. That's your job. That really is the job of every successful person who wants people to see them as they are. So what threatens your brand? Well, it's important to know when you actually start interviewing. The moment you give your resume, you are interviewing. The moment someone looks at your resume, they're gonna look at the resume and they're gonna wanna know, is this person accomplished? Do they pay attention to detail? Um, do they know how to articulate what they actually do? So pay careful attention to your resume. I'll be honest with you. Um, I didn't have early career I didn't have a lot of people knocking on my door for my resume. So I actually paid to get a resume. I paid about 200 bucks. I still use that resume today. I just modify it. So it's just another way to help someone, help people see you. Then the real interview starts the moment you pull up to the interviewer, right? So the moment you get out of your car, that receptionist, believe it or not, is expecting you and has been looking for you. So if you're getting out the car and you, you know, you know, have all these things in your hands and you drop it, you don't look put together. Um, that is, it can send a message. When you sit down, you also want to be very confident. You want to sit up. You want to have 
the conviction, you earned the right. Remember that when you get an interview, a lot of times, what do we feel? We feel like, man, this is an honor to be here. I don't know why they picked me. No, they chose you because they think you could be a candidate. So you need to go in with confidence, not cockiness, but confidence. So that confidence should look like, you know what? I have skills to bring to this company. I'm excited about this opportunity, and I can't wait to share with you what I have uh, to offer. For, uh, to offer. You also want to dress nice. You want to show that you know how to put on a professional look. These are all things that if you don't do them, they get in the way, and the person looking for you may not be able to find you. They may not be able to find you because you don't actually look like the person they're looking for. Just remember that you have something to offer. The biggest thing that you're going to have to figure out is how can you communicate that to the people who are looking for you specifically. You know, sometimes we tend to think, oh man, why me out of all these people? Well, how many grocery stores are on your block? It's about probably like four or five grocery stores, right? No one's out of business because another one exists. There's enough for everyone. It's just that certain, certain grocery stores get other people. Like for instance, Whole Foods has a different crowd than Safeway or something like that. It's no different with candidates. So when you think about yourself, there's somebody out here that is looking for you. Your job, your real work, is to make certain that when they look, they see you. 